Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Singles Over 60, Finding a Partner with Carolyn, and I am Carolyn. I'm here to talk to you tonight about um, a, a question that I have from a gentleman from Dallas, Texas, and I'm going to read you his question just uh, in a little bit, but before I do, I want to remind you that 72% of us in the United States over the age of 60 are single. We either, we've never been married, we're divorced, we're widowed, uh, we all have our stories. Um, statistics also tell us that more and more of us over 60 are now marrying uh, more than any other time in our recorded history in this country. So that says a lot for us, it says a lot for marriage, and it also says a lot for longevity. Uh, men and women are living longer now. We are facing facing uh, times when we could be living another 20 or 30 years either by ourselves alone or uh, finding a suitable partner. And this is what we're talking about, finding a suitable partner who is sustainable and also someone that you are sweet on. Let me read to you this letter from Don. Uh, he has a special issue that he would like to talk about. He says, hello, Carolyn, my name is Dawn and I'm from Dallas, Texas. I am 72 years old, my sweetheart is 70, and we fell in love 10 years ago. We've had a continuous and sustained relationship ever since. We did not marry or live together due to disapproval of our children or grandchildren, but my sweetheart wanted marriage and we longed to be together. I think this brought on some of her depression because about five years ago, I began to see some changes in her that continue to get worse. She began to neglect herself, stayed in her house, neglected her hygiene, her housekeeping, and now lives in squalor. She ignores me when I try and confront her. And I am very worried about her. The children who were against our marriage have now gone on with their own lives and pretty much abandoned her, but they do not want me to visit her. What can I do? If we marry, will it turn her around? Don, first of all, what can you do? Probably nothing. Um, you mentioned that she is not paying any attention to you and that she is neglecting warning signs of her maybe physical, medical, and mental health. Um, and that she doesn't, her children don't come around much anymore. I don't know if someone else has guardianship of her. That means she has a legal uh, guardian who makes decisions for her. I don't know if she makes decisions for herself. Either way, if she has a legal guardian, it's probably someone in her family who doesn't want you to visit. If she does not have a legal guardian, she's ignoring you for the most part and probably would not be willing willing or able to make her own decision about marriage. That's one of the things we look at, Don, when we grow older. You know, when we think about marrying when we're young, we're looking at our futures together, our careers, starting a home, having a family, children, building a future for ourselves. When we get older and we think about finding a partner, we have to look at the whole picture. We have to look at the picture that we're going to be losing ground every day. We're gonna lose our looks, we're gonna lose our appearance, we're gonna lose our health, we're gonna lose our minds, maybe, and we're eventually gonna lose our lives. So you need to look at these things when you're thinking about finding a suitable partner for yourself. The one thing I can tell about you, Dawn, is that you do really love your sweetheart and that you are concerned about her and that you want the best for her and you in her future. I think you're trying to turn her around, turn around the depression, looking back, wishing that you had married. I'm not sure, but that's what it sounds like to me. Let me talk to you about a syndrome. It's called Diogenes Syndrome. You can look it up. It's also known as Senile Squalor Syndrome. These, this syndrome is characterized by self-neglect, 
which you describe in your letter to me. This includes malnourishment, sometimes dehydration, inappropriate clothing, uh, poor hygiene, domestic squalor, social withdrawal, apathy, depression you, met, you mentioned, and a lack of insight into these things. These, this is something that you're describing perhaps to me in your letter. Uh, look it up yourself or even better than that, speak to a healthcare professional about the possibility of this. Um, I don't know who else you have to talk to about your sweetheart. I certainly would make an attempt as a concerned person and a person who cares about her to talk to whatever family member will listen to you. Also, you have adult protective services. There are community services Services set up to help you with people who are no longer able to look after themselves and maybe need some help or some guidance or maybe if they don't have um, 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 a, a person to look after them someone could be appointed. Don, I'm very sorry for your situation. I'm sorry for your sweetheart and I'm sorry for you. There there is no pain like the pain of watching someone you love decline or even watching the decline in yourself. I just want you to know as we're talking about finding a partner, if you're single and over the age of 60, these are the things that we look at. You can even ask yourself now if it were to happen that she made an improvement through outside resources and were able to make her own decisions, would you want to take on this responsibility? Uh, are you able to take on these responsibilities? So please, all of you, join us for finding a partner, singles over the age of 60, because we're dealing of how you're going to live your life as an elder, as a person over 60, because you could have 30 or even 40 more years to live. Are you prepared for what aging brings you? Are you prepared for what partnership brings you? Please contact me. You can talk to me. You can contact me. You can give me your questions. Subscribe to my channel. It's free. Join me every day as we focus on another issue of aging and the possibility of partnership when you're single over 60. Good night.